Hello everyone, welcome back. Coach Boyd is here with Rec at Home Basketball Drills. Your sun and summers are gone, your fall and winters are approaching. Now's the time to get that body in shape and get to moving. Let's get our games in, in line today. We're gonna work on some exercises that's dealing with your core and your shoulder strength, as well as some other basketball drills that we can incorporate. So, with that in mind, stay tuned, get ready, and let's have an exciting workout today. We're gonna start with our core exercises today. Coach right here is doing a side-to-side -side crunch. Do this three sets of 10. Core exercises give you stability and balance. Remember, while exercising, to breathe and take your time. You can't work hard if you can't do any of those things to help you be successful. Next, we're putting the ball between our legs. See, coach is alternating his legs and passing the ball through as if we're ball handling. This helps with your stability. As we come into our third set, maintain your focus, be eager, and keep that drive. Vertical crunches. We're laying on our back, trying to touch our toes and go up quickly. Vertical crunches help with the strengthening of your abs which are your stomach muscles, as well as your lower back muscles. Remember, breathe when you're doing these exercises. Shoulder tap push-ups. This is a new one. You're gonna get into a plank position, push up and tap your shoulders. Right here, coach is touching every other shoulder while doing a push-up. This exercise helps build your core and it also helps build your shoulders. You gotta have strong shoulders. Sideway lunges aids in the way we move on the basketball floor. We have to be able to move side to side. This exercise helps us develop strength in our legs to get to that desired position on the floor when we have to push off and get to a side very quickly. We finally now get a chance to shoot the basketball. Let's see how much those exercises have helped us by shooting the basketball while we're tired, especially free throws. You have to be able to hit those shots because those are free shots.
a ball handling and a shooting drill. We have two cones here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do a dribbling move at one cone and we're going to make a variation of shots. So let's say three for today. Okay? Once we hit three shots from here, doing a dribbling and a shooting move, then we're going to alternate and go to the other cone and do a dribbling and shooting move. In this drill, quick dribble with the shot. We're taking three quick pound dribbles and then we're going up for a shot. When you reach a point during your workout where you get extremely exhausted, you gotta fight, you gotta regain that inner strength. Keep persevering. It will resurface. You will find that inner strength to prevail and be successful. drill we want to dribble around the cone and then we want to get out to a corner spot and shoot the ball so here let's do it again get out dribble around switch hands dribble to the corner spot and you pull up and shoot This is the jump into the gathering, one of my favorites. The six cones on the court represent angles in which you can shoot from. When you jump into the gap, you must make three shots before you can move on to the next gap. Once you get to the end of the side, shoot that free throw. Now we're going back the other direction.
Ready, go! Here's our challenge drill. We have to dribble from one side of the cones, make a shot, back to the other side and make a shot, then dribble back over to the other side and make a shot. Then going back over again and making another shot, getting the ball, coming back up and shooting two shots in the middle for a total of six shots. This is part two of our challenge drill. There's a twist to this drill at the end. Watch and see. As you can see, stay charged. To conclude our workout, we're gonna run to the cone twice and back pedal. Each cone you're gonna run to twice and back pedal. Show me that fire. Finish strong. Wow, terrific class. We really got at it today. The drills were fundamentally sound. They were challenging. They were challenging to me, and I put it together. And I am exhausted, soaking wet. Reminder, be safe to yourselves and the others around you. Love yourself. Love thy neighbor. Maintain your eagerness and an ability to succeed. Not just in, in basketball, but in life. OK? So. I want to give thanks to everyone that make this possible. Your, your views help me to be a better coach. So until next time, you guys stay safe, remain cool and confident, maintain your focus, and keep your strength in that drive, and you will succeed. We'll see you soon. Give the thumbs up. Any suggestions, hit me up. Send me a message. Let me know what it is I can do to help you. See you soon.